What's going on you guys? It's Cody. Welcome back to the show. We're going to jump right into things today. We're going to talk about what platform is better for options trading. If you're interested in options trading, you probably want to know, hey, should I trade with Webull? Should I trade with Robinhood? Or should I just avoid both of them altogether? What I want to talk about, we're going to show you here on my phone in just a second. We're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of each of them. And of course, if you're just getting started with options, this is something that's going to be important to you because you want to make sure you get started on the right platform so that you can have faith going forward that the platform is going to work for you, that you're going to be able to understand it and hopefully number three that you're going to be able to make money so with that being said let's jump right into it all right so we're going to look at the Robinhood app here first I have used this account exclusively for trading options I own one share in here and it's only because it's the free share of stock that I got when I joined the platform so I have used uh, Webull for options investing as well and so I'm going to give you kind of a rundown at least in my opinion as to which platform is better we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of each and what you need to know when looking at this information so uh, you can see here my account uh, 55 hundred dollars uh, down massively on the day which is uh, kind of crappy but uh, let's just jump into some of these uh, calls that I've you know these options that I've got here so uh, for instance this is one call that I've got going on right now this is what it's going to look like for the actual option once you own it uh, as you can see Robin Hanna has a very straightforward great looking platform very easy to use the un user interface on this is absolutely mind-blowing how good it is I mean uh, whoever designed this really knows what they're doing so for instance on this one here you can see that I've got a call on Neo for $50 and the current value of this contract is sitting at $2.74. Uh, if you look at the one day history, you can see all this charter information. You can kind of click on it and scroll here and it will show you how this has fluctuated throughout the day. So this is kind of cool. The only thing I don't like about this is that when you look at the chart, it doesn't have any numbers on there. So sometimes, you know, from like this point to this point, it might be, you know, I mean, that's almost a 50 cent difference. It could look that exact same way, but it could be a, a $2 difference, right? Um, so the, the chart is not always consistent. It always just shows you uh, down here at the bottom of the chart if I bring the uh, the little cursor over here this will show you kind of the bottom of where it started and then this shows you the top so the chart is really this uh, this full area here so not one of those things that I love about Robinhood, but uh, it is what it is. So coming down here, your position, it shows that I have one contract. I have $274 worth of equity. It shows your break-even price, the expiration date of December 11th, current price of $274 per contract, and the cost that I bought it at was $2.60. So you can see that I've got today's return of $14, and total return is $14 as well. So this gives you the option to exercise uh, the option, which I don't recommend. You know, um, it, that's a story for another day, but it does give you that option to do that right there and then it shows you the stats here so it shows you what the bid price is the ask price uh, uh, the high and low of this contract the previous close of it how much volume there is how much open interest there is and the implied volatility these are all important stats that you need to know the only thing I don't love about this is that it only shows you these stats for the you know like for instance volume and open interest it only shows you these numbers when you actually go to the actual contract here so I'll show you here in just a second that it doesn't show you uh, those numbers elsewhere once we get into actually looking at purchasing or selling options. So it does show you the Greek numbers here, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and Rho, uh, and then it shows you your history as well. So you can see that I just bought this call t earlier today. So uh, let's jump into here. Let's jump into the NEO stock price chart. You can see the stock price here. This looks all pretty similar. Uh, if you've used this before, it's got your options, your stats, and then news down here at the bottom. What I'm going to click on is go to trade options, and this is really the cool thing about Robin hood so right here this is what you're going to be looking at it shows you what the stock price is at it says 46.69 right here um, and it kind of fluctuates a little bit right so it gives you that and then it also takes you to this very first page when you get here it gives you instructions right the thing with with robin hood is it gives you instructions on how to uh, use options because obviously a lot of their users are going to be new to options uh, this gives you kind of just some basic information right what is it to buy a call what's it to to sell a covered put what is a call debit spread put credit spread um, you can click on these other little buttons it says here's what it is to buy a put here's how to do straddles or strangles here's how to do condors butterflies um, that stuff's pretty complex right so it does give you information about how to do it but um, the basics here you know hey I think the stock's going up or I think it's going down after that you've got your options here at the top so you've got uh, all of your dates right so you've got December 4th December 11th December 18th to 20th 31st you basically can scroll across here and it'll give you all of your different dates for which you can buy options on and I want to come back here we're just gonna look at December 4th uh, for instance. So 
let's just look at look at this one right here. Forty-seven dollar call right in the middle. Uh, break-even price of forty-nine fifty-two shows you what the break-even percentage is, and it also shows you the contract price of two dollars and fifty-two cents, as well as how much this particular contract has risen today based on how the the uh, share price has actually performed throughout the day. So when you go ahead and click on this, it's going to ask you, okay, how many contracts do you want to buy? Remember that one contract equals hundred shares, and this will give you the limit price of what you're going to actually pay for the contract. So if you actually go ahead and click on this, it will give you this information, which is nice. It gives you the volume, the open interest, the volatility, uh, chance of profit. It gives you all of these different statistics that you want to know. But unfortunately, you have to like go into each one of these in uh, partic uh, individually to actually see what the volume is, right? So you can't just see it. It's it's kind of tedious to go in here and actually look at this. Okay, what's the volatility of these one? What are the Greek numbers at? Uh, you know, what's the volume? How much open interest is there? You know, as you get more into options, you want to know this stuff. You want to at least have a good idea. Um, you know, for instance, you don't want to buy something that has no volume or no interest in it uh, because it's going to be hard to sell or buy if that time ever comes. So you got, you got to know that stuff. So jumping back here to the $47 call, Let's just put in here, for instance, we're going to buy uh, one contract, and then you can enter in your bid price, right? So 240, 250, uh, 260, whatever you're going to bid for it, and then it's going to give you the cost. Let's just put in here 250. You hit review. It's saying I don't have enough buying power, which is fine. Uh, let's just put in 150, just so to let me get to this next step. Okay, no, it's not going to let me. Um, <laughs> here we go. Uh, 150 helps if I type the right number. So uh, it basically just gives you the order uh, summary here, what the cost is, and then gives you some information down at the bottom as to what the uh, order is actually going to look like. So overall, I love Robinhood. I think it's a very smart platform. It looks really good. The actual user interface is super helpful, um, so easy to read. I mean, really, if you're just getting started, this is a great platform. But with that said, I want to jump over to I just submitted the order. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I mean, hey. Um, Let's go ahead and do this, cancel. <laughs> All right, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we're all good though. So let's jump over here to Weeble. Uh, we're gonna look at Weeble here. We're gonna go to, uh, yeah, so we're looking at the watch list um, and I wanna look at Neo again uh, as well here on the Weeble platform. So this is my watch list. I'm just gonna open up Neo here and you can see that it's a much different platform. It's definitely more complex. There's a lot of numbers. If you're looking at this, you might get a little bit overwhelmed because you're like, whoa, what's going on here, right? So you've got all the dates at the top. You've got the share price. You've got how where it opened and closed at. Uh, the range for the day, how much volume was traded, and then it shows you the graph, which has like five different graphs on here um, to show you all of these complex uh, calculations. So I like Robinhood just because it gives you the share price, right? For most of us, 95% of us, we just care about the share price. We don't we don't need to know these moving averages and daily moving adver average and forward average and blah, blah, blah. I don't know even know what they all are, but we don't need to know that stuff, right? We just want to know the share price. So uh, this, that's what this is here. It does show you the after hours, which is nice too. That is one of the things about Weeble is it lets you trade after hours, which is really nice, especially if you're trying to buy something as it dips or as it goes up. You know, if whenever you want to get into something, you've got the option to do that here on Weeble. So that's one of the really cool things about it. And then it gives you the order book. You know, again, a lot of us probably don't care about this. So a lot of this is like overkill for your average investor, um, especially if you're playing with small amounts. You know, even if you got a, lar a large amount of money in this, uh, you might not even look at this a lot of the time. So this is kind of more like it's a little bit more complex. So anyway, so let's jump on to uh, the options. So when you actually go to the options here on Weeble, the cool thing about it is it actually pulls up the option change, which option chain, which is something that you might be familiar with if you've traded options before or if you've at least looked into it. This chart here might look a little bit more familiar compared to the one that was on Robinhood. So I'm going to show you here that it's got all your strike prices. It's got uh, how many days out it is from today's date. I do own a position on a call for NEO here as well. So that's why it says I have POS uh, position there. For instance, though, let's just pull up the two-day chart here. So this is a cool thing. So you've got calls on the left, puts on the right. Um, so you know, calls think, is saying, hey, I think it's going up. Puts are saying, I think it's going down. And it gives you the stock price here in the middle. And it also has those strike prices there in the middle as well. So that's really the cool thing is it gives you all of this information right up front and it allows you to see both sides of it a little bit easier. So again, it gives you the bid and ask price. It gives you the change in the, in the day. And then it also gives you the implied volatility and open interest, which is really cool 
people here as well. So you want to know the open interest because you want to know how active that particular strike price is for that date. So this is one thing that I really like that's helpful because if you're like, hey, I want to get in here, I want to do something uh, real quick, maybe try and get in, get out within a couple hours, you know, because the stock is going on a massive run or something, you might want to just look at this and say, okay, how much open interest is there on that particular strike price? So if I buy something now, how easy is it going to be to sell it later on? So this is really one of the cool things about this. You can break it down and look at just the calls. You can break it down, look at just the puts. Um, you can even change how many strike prices you're looking at here. So you can, you know, go 30 strike prices, 40, uh, excuse me, not 40, 50. Uh, you can even bring it down to six, right, if you wanted to. So that's really the cool thing about this. Uh, we're going to change this back to 30, and uh, we're just going to go to both, and we're going to go to that same one that we were looking at. And when you click on this, uh, it's actually going to pull up this information here. So $47 call, uh, we're looking at buying one, and we're going to hit edit. It's gonna make me log in. All right, so now pulling this up, you can see that we've got the NEO $47 call with the mid price of $2.52 per contract. If we scroll down here, this is where you can actually order it. So you can set your limit price here, you can change it, and then it will show you the bid on the left side and the ask on the right side, how many contracts you wanna purchase, and then the time in force and how much of a debit you're gonna take from your account in order to purchase this. So you can go here and um, yeah, that's basically how you buy something here on Webull. So uh, I hope I shared some pros and cons for you guys with uh, you know which platform is better. Like I said, Webull can look a little bit overwhelming. If you're just getting started with it, you might be thinking, hey, I, this is too much for me, right? Like I don't know how to, how to read this. <laughs> so that's kind of the nice thing about Robinhood. However, Robinhood has had some issues in the past where you know they had some system outages and people were locked out of their accounts. You know, they literally couldn't buy or sell anything and so if a stock is going on a massive run and that happens you could end up in a really tight spot you know just be aware that Robinhood has had issues in the past it's really hard to get in touch with them with their support line so if you ever need help with your account that's going to be really difficult so it's kind of you know there's some good things and there's some bad things right the nice thing about Webull is that you can actually get some free stocks if you sign up using the link in the description below that's the thing that I like about it you can get some free stocks if you deposit a hundred dollars and open up an account over there so that's really one of the cool things and we Webull also shows you a lot of the information that you need to know right up front. It gives you the volume, the open interest, it gives you the, the bid and ask price, it gives you that traditional option chain, which is a lot easier to view, especially if you've already traded options. So, uh, you know, which one would I recommend? Honestly, if you're just starting out, I'd probably go with Webull, even though it's going to be a little bit more difficult to read and kind of get into. I think in the long run, it's going to be better for you because it's going to get you familiar with the system that a lot of other trading platforms use, whether it's, you know, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, whatever. A lot of these other platforms platforms are going to have uh, these this the option chain that you saw there on Webull. So anyways, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up here on the video if you enjoyed this content. I really appreciate you sticking along with me through to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about money, stocks, and real estate. I'd love for you to follow along on that journey. And until next time, I'll see you then.